Laws.com. How to file for divorce in Tennessee. Step one, determine eligibility. The spouse filing for a Tennessee divorce is required to be a resident of the state. If you are filing a fault divorce and the misconduct took place in another state, either you or your spouse must have lived in Tennessee for at least six months. Tennessee divorce law encourages you to file for dissolution in the county where you reside or where your spouse does. Step 2. Filing the Divorce Petition After affirming eligibility, you must satisfy the requirements offered by the Tennessee Divorce Petition. This form, known as the Complaint for Divorce, must be filed with the Clerk of Court to initiate the process. The complaint requires you to answer questions concerning you and your spouse's marital behavior, finances, and requests. Moreover, the complaint requires you to notify the court of a fault or no-fault filing. The bulk of divorces are filed as no-fault contests. However, the agreement does not necessarily constitute a streamlined following as requests for child support, child custody, alimony, and division of assets are often countered or argued by the answering spouse. Step 3. Serve your spouse. After you have filed the divorce petition with your county clerk's office, you must have your spouse served with the document. This procedure can be carried out in a variety of ways. However, the sheriff's office or a private process server is typically responsible for delivering the documents to your spouse. After your spouse is served, the state institutes a 60 to 90 day waiting period for review purpose. The bulk of couples use this waiting period to negotiate their settlement agreement for approval purposes. If you and your spouse fail to agree on the the terms of your divorce, the state will schedule a court date or dispute hearing to review arguments and examine evidence to render a settlement. To watch more videos, please make sure to visit laws.com.